I'm an animation educator. I'm the Associate Program Director of Character Animation at California Institute of the Arts, sometimes called CalArts. Um, I'm an independent filmmaker, and I formerly worked in theme entertainment, theme park design. Yeah, I think that's an interesting question. So um, it's complicated at CalArts because in some ways, character animation is very close to the animation industry. And when Disney Studio, for, when Walt Disney actually first founded CalArts, um, I believe Disney Studio felt that we would be almost like a training program you know, like some trade school. But CalArts had a bigger vision. We didn't want to just train people to fill some job in the production pipeline. We actually were trying to create the next generation of directors, the people who would move the animation industry forward. So even though maybe Disney Studio just wanted us to teach some trade skills, we really tried to focus more on animation as film arts. And we expose our students to a very broad range of different kinds of animation, not only commercial animation. And then, as um, I think you know, CalArts has actually two animation programs, one called Character and one called Experimental. So, these two programs, um, sometimes when we have new faculty start at the school, they'll say, why are there two programs? There should only be one animation program. But I always felt that each program benefits from the existence of the other one. We kind of define each program in opposition to the other one, but we also borrow skills from both programs. So for our students, I think it really expands their mind a lot when they can go and take some classes in experimental animation and learn what some people would consider like a more experimental approach or experimental technique and it just broadens their the students understanding of what animation can be it's kind of interesting so i already mentioned that there's been an evolution in the kind of stories that the students tell but also, when I first started at CalArts, um, people were still making their films on paper and, you know, animating on paper and then maybe um, scanning the drawings to like bring them into some software. And I feel that our technology 20 years ago was not so advanced and that um, students could not achieve such a high level of finish because the films were still made on a kind of physical basis, not really purely digital. I remember when we first began to get computers in our program, and I think the first software we were using was Flash, but people really were not satisfied with Flash because of the vector line look. So at some point then we began to use TV Paint and um, I feel that people embrace that quite a bit. And then just generally, you know, oh, we have another course called Digital Methods where students learn how to use a variety of different software. So not only maybe TV Paint, um, but also something like After Effects and learning to do compositing, learning to be able to do more like digital post-production for their films. So as technology has advanced, then the students have been able to produce more and more finished looking films. But I do know that uh, many of the animation teachers, they still will assign the students to animate on paper at the beginning of the semester. Um, they still want them to at least experience like the traditional way of animating, maybe like how to flip the paper to see things animate. So I think we, we kind of cherish like those um, pre-computer ways of making animation, but I can say that the films could never have like the, the degree of finish 
that they have now thanks to digital technology. My main advice would be to believe in yourself and to really connect with your passion for making animation. Um, I was, um, had the good fortune to be able to teach many children's animation workshops. And one of the things that I realized about child artists is that they never have any self-doubt about making their art. They never maybe make some judgment about themselves, like, oh, I'm good, I'm not good. Children just, you know, immediately engage with art making and they just have that joy in the process of doing art. So I try to instill that kind of feeling in our students just to get them to really focus on why they wanted to animate in the first place and what part of it that gives them joy and also to have the confidence in their own decisions. One thing that's difficult making a film, as, as I mentioned before, you can have maybe a film workshop where all of your classmates are giving you feedback, but you're really just like the director in the sense that you have to filter that feedback too. Like you have to judge, oh, well, that advice is helpful or that advice I don't really accept. So you have to have some confidence in your own judgment as well and trust your own instincts about your filmmaking and your art. So I would say those two things, like connecting with your passion and having belief in your own um, heart, like following your heart. And I really think those are the key elements that I would like to communicate to young animators.